Okay, what's up, YouTube? You know who it is. This is Spacey Crypto coming at you again one more time. Shout out to everybody that's been tuning into my videos. Remember to leave a like. Remember to share. Remember to subscribe. Turn on notification. And man, this one is an excited video. Also, remember, guys, remember, check out my social media. Links are in the description. Links are also at the bottom of this video. Man, this one is amazing, guys. I had to do this one. I wanted to do this one a little bit earlier, but never had the chance man i mean pulse pad is gonna be crazy man i mean P pulse pad when i saw this announced on kcc pad i was like man this is gonna be insane and if you guys don't understand what this is about i've been doing a lot of videos about launch pads i think that's gonna be my main focus you know apart from pulse and gandhiji that's gonna be my main focus post um launch pads because launch pads i think is just so great to talk about and make videos about because there's so much going on with bluezilla there's so much going on with kcc pad bsc pad i'm mainly focused on kcc pad because you know obviously kcc pad is early days um but you also have eth pad you have bsc pad recently we, they dropped they dropped Adapad, Tron Pad, and now we're going to have Pulse Pad. Now, if you guys don't understand what a launch pad is, I'm going to explain that to you guys. So what a launch pad is, is simply a platform that allows developers, it connects developers with investors, right? So essentially, when a developer is starting a project, what do they initially need they need capital right they need money right if you're a developer and you really have a great idea and you feel like this project is gonna revolutionize the blockchain whatever you you're gonna need some funding and you know back in the day they had like icos and stuff like that and obviously we saw that there was a lot of scams involved in that so that's the reason why launch pads have become so significant in modern day crypto modern day blockchain and no i mean no launch pad has or no launch pad developer has done better than bluezilla now bluezilla they are the uh, company that's responsible for the the major launch pads that's been out so whether it be BSC pad, Tron pad, ETH pad, uh, Ada pad, KCC pad, you know, now they're going to come out with Pulse pad. And they also have some other ones as well. They have Game Zone. You know what I mean? So I think I think they have, right, th they've been developing launch pads really quickly over the past, I would say over the past two weeks or so, like launch pads have been coming out, not even over the past two weeks, over the past month or so, like launch pads have been coming out like crazy. We've been seeing so many different launch pads coming out. It's it's just it's getting hard to keep up with the updates, man. So I mean, it is crazy. Bluezilla really doing work. They really putting in work, man. And we got a shout out to Bluezilla. So shout out to these guys, man. They are putting in work, and man, this one is really exciting. You know, Pulse Pad is gonna be a part of the Bluezilla family. It's gonna be another launch pad, just like BSC Pad. And guys, if you guys want to know more about BSC Pad, ETH Pad, stuff like that, there's videos online. I don't really talk much about BSC Pad. I talk mostly about KCC Pad because I'm a KCC dude, man. Like I, I, I'm fully all in KCC. That's it, man. KCC all the way, man. KCC to the moon, bro. You know what I'm saying that's that's where I'm at, right? I'm a KCC. I'm a KCC uh, evangelist, man. I'm just gonna keep it 100% real. I have converted to a KCC evangelist. See what I'm saying? Whatever anybody wanna say about that, it's what it is, man. KCC all the way. But shout out to Pulse, the Pulse chain. You know, I'm I'm good with my Pulse because I got into I got into that sacrifice, man. And I'm good with my post, man. I, I I went into that. I made sure not to miss out on that. I didn't miss out on Hex. I was never going to miss out on Pulse. And now that I'm seeing this, Pulse Pad, man. Pulse Pad. Like, this is going to be insane, people. Like, I'm so hyped about this. 
And let's talk about it a little bit. So if you guys know anything about BSC pad, what this essentially is, is it's a launch pad that's going to allow developers to be able to put out their product, right? Advertise their product, promote their product, exactly put out, you know, let people know, okay, this is what we're doing. This is our goals. This is how we plan to uh, develop. You know, this is these. This is the roadmap. Whatever stuff like that. People are gonna um, developers are gonna be able to advertise their product to a, a base of investors, right? You know, whoever wants to get into the um, the um, these uh, projects, right? They're gonna be able to provide information to investors so that they can um, generate the funding that they need to start their projects right so so basically what's gonna what's what it is is that in order for you to be an investor in these projects you're gonna have to state the native token for postpad right so essentially what's gonna happen is that there's gonna be a token uh that's gonna come out it's gonna be the postpad token just like you have the bsc pad token and the or the KCC pad token that you you're gonna be able to stake, right? And when you stake those tokens, right, you're gonna have an opportunity to get an allocation to invest in these projects. Now, what is an allocation? An allocation is just some money that they allow you to uh, uh, essentially. They don't give you any money, but they're saying. We're allowing you to invest $500 in this project on the cheap. Now, here's the thing about when you get it. The reason why launch pads are so beneficial for investors, it, like launch pads are a win-win for everybody, right? It's, a, it's beneficial for um, the developers because they're getting the funding that they need to really expand and grow their project, right? And for the investors, it's great because you're getting it at a super low market cap. I mean, you have some of these projects literally, I mean, you're getting in at literally like 30K market cap, man. 30K, like literally 30, uh, $30,000 market cap. $30,000 market. I'm not even kidding, man. Like you're literally getting in at $30,000, $30,000 market cap for some of these projects. And you know, in crypto, thirty thousand dollar market cap, even for a small project, is super low. Like that's the floor, people. That's the floor. You're getting it at the floor. That thing is never gonna go below that, right? So that's what launchpads do. Launchpads give you the opportunity to be able to get into these projects super early, right? So you're you're able to buy, um, essentially these tokens right really early right and then you know um and some of these projects you know obviously mainly mainly because of the fact that the market cap is so low these projects can easily do 100x you know, i mean some of these projects i mean happy fans like <laughs> i mean basically did a, a 10x or i think it i think it went more than 10x actually i think it was like 20x you know it, it, it's it, it kind of corrected today you know what I mean? But I think if I'm not mistaken, Happy Fans today, and I was talking about Happy Fans yesterday, Happy Fans did like 20x, man. 20x. You know, I was glad I got into that. And, I, and, and guys, check out my tutorial on how to get into these allocation rounds because that is also in itself a learning curve. Uh, there is some, there's some, this, there's some stuff that is not really explained by kcc by casey the kcc pad team they're not very clear on that like bluezilla doesn't really explain much so you guys gotta basically watch that video to understand the nuances in getting into the allocation round right what exactly you need to do there's some approvals that you gotta do you gotta approve you gotta make sure you got usdt in your wallet you got to make sure that you approve the USDT and then you got to join and then you got to claim. It's a whole bunch of stuff, man. So check that video out. That kind of explains everything that you need to know to get into that. But yeah, man, that is crazy. So basically, that's what it is. Now, let's kind of scroll down a little bit um, to kind of show you 
um, what's going on. So essentially, um, they're go it's gonna be the 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 token price. They're gonna tell you all that stuff. Like right now, everything is early. The site just got up. So as you can see, the tokenomics is not even determined yet. Um, the token price is not, and I know that this is a in collaboration with Richard Hart. Uh, I don't know if Richard Hart is talking about this because this is early and this was announced on the KCC pad uh, telegram. So this is early. I don't know if the post um, community has really caught on to this, but this is huge. And I know for a fact, Richard Hart was very influential in this happening. I, I know for a fact that Richard Hart um, saw the power, what, what's been happening with KCC pad. What's been happening with Tron Pad? What's been happening with BSC Pad? All these different launch pads, and I think Richard Hart, just like what Justin Sun did, I think Richard Hart saw this and he was like, "Hell no! Like, there's no way I'm missing out on this." You get what I'm saying? Like, I think Richard Hart is very instrumental in this thing coming together. So we'll get. I'm sure we get more information on that. Um, and obviously, you got the tears right here. So. So you got the Pulse Explorer, Pulse Leader, and the Pulse Visionary, right? Pulse Visionary. Now, here's the thing. This is a, this is great because here's what's going to happen. Um, so essentially, Pulse Pad is going to be a launch pad um, for Pulse, just like Tron Pad is a launch pad for Tron. So essentially, what's going to happen is that um, you're going to be um, able to Instead of you, because when the Pulse Chain comes out, obviously the Pulse Chain has not come out yet. It's on its way. Obviously, the test net is already out. And we know for a fact, if the test net is out, the Pulse Chain is not too far, man. Like, it's not too far. So, you, you know, developers are already working on um, the Pulse Chain right now. They're already testing it out. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, like, obviously... They're doing a lot of work because, hey, man, they call the whole Ethereum blockchain people. So it's a whole lot of work. But basically, PulsePad, um, what that's going to do, that's going to allow, that's going to clean up a lot of the scams that are going to come out in the initial stages. Because, you know, when all these block, when these blockchains come out, you know, it's a, a whole bunch of scams. I remember when KCC just got released. It was scams on top of scams on top of scams on top of scams, man. It was crazy. I mean, these people was crazy, man. So, uh, Pulse Pad, obviously, you know, is going to reduce a lot of that because the key thing with Launch Pads 2, and I, I, I don't think I mentioned this as well, the key thing with Launch Pads 2 is that they do a lot of the vetting, people. A lot of the vetting that needs to be done, the auditing, stuff like that, that's part of, because here's the thing, it's this is this is to benefit everybody, right? This is to give investors confidence that listen, these projects are not going to exit scam and and scam out and run away with the money, right? And then you know, obviously, the developers they want the funding and they want the guarantee that they're going to get the funding. And then you know, for for launch for the launch pad itself, you know, they make a little they get a little extra fee from the developers. Whatever comes out of it, you know, like they get a percentage for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So it's a win-win for everybody. So the thing is, what they do, the service that Launchpad provides is that they give the investor peace of mind because they do all the vetting and everything, make sure these people are legitimate. You know what I'm saying? These people sign contracts. This is a legal company, man. This this company has, you know, its, its own legal team, man. I mean, if you if you look into Bluezilla and do your research, man, Bluezilla ha have their own legal team, people. They have their own legal team, man. Just do some research on Bluezilla, man. They got their own legal team, people. Like these people don't play, man. This is not no. This is not no game. This is some serious stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to worry about getting scammed when you get when you um, invest in projects on the launch pad. That's and from now on, for me personally, I'm not getting in no project that's not um, that's not on one of these launch pads. If it's not on one of these Bluezilla launch pads, especially being that they're going after every single blockchain, putting launch pads on every single blockchain, I mean, I'm not going to get in another project unless it's um, it's on one of these launch pads. You know what I'm saying? That's how I'm looking at it right now. I'm not getting into none of these projects. If they're not on launch pads, 
like one of these launch pads, man, like I'm not getting into none of them. See what I'm saying? Plus the benefit, I'm getting a low market cap. Nah, man, like I'm definitely not even gonna look at anything if they are not on the launch pad and they don't have the authenticity and the credibility that's associated with that launch pad where that launch pad vets them and stuff like that. So, you know, um, you know, so basically, I mean, this is going to be great. Uh, so this is, these are, these are the tiers, um, and they're going to, they're going to talk a little bit more about the staking eligibility, how many, how many tokens is going to be required for you to stake. And the staking is important because that's going to be what's going to allow you to get into the allocation rounds. You see what I'm saying? To be able to get into these projects at the low market caps. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and obviously the higher, the more tokens you're staking, the more, um, allocation you're going to get to get into these projects early right and you know get your 100x returns or whatever man especially if the pulse chain comes out and you know it's going to be crazy on there you know what i mean you get into these these projects and these projects go crazy i mean man it's just going to be insane insane absolutely insane so i mean i'm very excited about this very excited not much information right now a lot of it is just a lot of hype you know they had they do um have some social media stuff on here you can check check out what's going on uh they also uh advertised the um let me see what what this is this is this is the actual pulse pad website i think the pulse yeah pulse pad website yeah so yeah let me just talk a little bit about the this page right here now this is a whitelist form and this is for people that want to get into the pulse pad ido right they want to get into the pulse pad ido I, um let me let me uh because here's the thing right pulse pad is going to be on kcc um the ido the pulse pad ido is going to be on kcc pad or bsc pad it's, i think it's going to be on all three of them uh kcc pad bsp pad and eth pad because that's what bluezilla has been working with right now um so basically you're gonna have to have either kcc bsc or eth to be able to get into this ido right um and then when, when you get into this ido now like you know based on what it does you know you, you could you know you could get a whole bunch of pulse pad um tokens you know you could just get a whole bunch of pulse pad by getting into the ido so so and and, and that's going to save you a whole lot you know what I'm saying? So where you can get a whole lot of tokens to stake. So you may even get into those IDOs and get a, so much, so enough pulse pad tokens to be in one of these tiers, which is going to be great. So, man, this is exciting, man. This is really exciting. This is some exciting stuff going on in crypto right now. Um, and if you guys fully don't understand this stuff, just do some research on BSC pad and then you have an understanding what IDOs are. They IDOs similar to ICO or IPO. It's a initial. Um, uh, I don't remember the exact naming for it. Uh, I think it's initial DAP offering, but I'll, I don't quote me on that. Or initial DeFi offering, but don't quote me on that. But essentially, that's what it means. Um, the IDO itself is going to be listed on KCC pad. In fact, let me just do it right now. Let me just do it right now. Um, let me just kind of show you guys what this is about, you know, kind of, kind of give you guys a, a better understanding of what, what I'm trying to say with all this stuff, man. So, all right. So obviously, uh, these are some closed projects, right? So essentially what it was was that i did get into this one today happy fans and this is how it you know the whole thing is uh you go in um you, you get your allocation i i, I don't have any more allocations because i already got in so you get your little allocation they gave me 360 dollars allocation i was able to get some tokens on the cheap here's is the tokens i was able to get i was able to claim these today tomorrow i'm going to claim these i have to claim them over five days um, actually, no, I have to claim them over five, five months. Is it months? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's five months. Not really sure. I don't know exactly how they do it or over three months or so. Like, I think it's, I think it's three months. So then I'm going to be claiming this in, um, 2022. So it's going to be 
about three to four months before I get all these tokens. But essentially, um, you know, that and that's just so that um, the ecosystem, you don't dump on the market, whatever, because you obviously you got it early and stuff like that. But that's pretty much how it works. And, you know, so that's going to be the same thing. This is going to um, the IDO for Postbat is going to be listed here. It's going to be listed on the project coming soon. That's going to be the same thing for BSC pad, let's say. Um, BSC pad. Let me just actually just do this. Yeah. Um, go here. Connect this if I want to. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so same thing. BSC pad too. Like, you know, BSC pad has been out a long time, so it has a whole bunch of projects here. But the same thing, you know, same idea. So Postpad is just going to be something like this. You're going to be able to get into it and you get your tokens, which you can then stake. And then you, you're going to be able to stake those tokens, right? And when you stake those tokens, you're going to be able to get into, um, get allocations for projects that's going to be on the Pulse chain when the Pulse chain comes out. You know what I'm I hope that makes sense. Um, I don't want to stay too long on this video. I think I've said enough. Um, you know, check out the links in the description for more information about this. And have a great day. Page Crypto signing out. Peace.